If I had to single out one element that put our Live to Hunt TV show on the map, I would have to say it's giant mule deer. I truly believe we live in the greatest mule deer country in the world, and this show is a compilation of some of the greatest bucks we've ever captured on camera. The moments that every single sportsman dreams about in mule deer country. This special show is strictly about the kings. The shade is unbelievable. <laughs> Holy cow, Kawaiians. Look at all the points. There's a muley buck, buddy. This buck has got it all. This is a deer of a lifetime. In the beginning, we felt our success could only be measured in inches, and we'll never lose that drive to go big. But there's so much more to it now. It's about friendships. It's about putting a smile on someone's face and giving them their chance to be a hunter. That's something to be proud of. Being a hunter, the anticipation, the adrenaline, the journey, and the inevitable fact that you cannot control the outcome and the mystery that comes with that, there's nothing else like it. It's who we want to be. It's how we want to live our lives. And besides family, it's what we live for. He is unbelievable. Are you kidding me? How exciting was that? How exciting was that? Look at his round eyes! Oh, he's so wicked. Hey, man. Just stood up and looked the other way. The moment we've been waiting for for so long. Better do it. Stealth Cam proudly presents Live to Hunt with Cody and Kelsey. The first story I want to share with you is about an absolutely giant buck that we were after in 2010. A deer with a huge frame and more character than a piece of driftwood. Shane, how big was he? He's big, he's a, I don't know, he's humongous. And that was my brother, Brandon, and we spotted the buck. Shane and I were after 10 days ago. We haven't been able to find him since and he's out in a farmer's crop, sound asleep right now. My big brother Brandon was in the driver's seat at 41 yards and he had a shot ahead of him that would not be easy and he dropped it in there like Brett Favre. You drilled him. You drilled him. He's down. Hottie. Oh, don't even try Give me some of that. Oh, my brother just shot the biggest, nastiest, not difficult buck with velvet hanging off. It's awesome. Oh, go pick him up, buddy. Yeah. Holy Look at me. that buck. This is a deer of a lifetime. What a gorgeous antler on this side. Isn't it? All the velvet hanging down. Whole bunch of really gnarly points on the other side. Just a phenomenal mule deer buck. Stickers everywhere. When it comes to hunting, it's gotta be the greatest day I'm going to have in a long time because it was a monster gnarly muley buck, a beautiful sunny day. And to top it off, the most important reason I'm here with my brother. Congrats. Thank you very much. I'm so proud of you, the shot you made. Thank you very much. This is a guy that really deserves this buck. Couldn't go to a better guy. This is my chance to explain to you why I consider my brother Brandon to be the luckiest hunter in history. Fast forward three years, I found another world-class deer. We're coming around the back door on this buck. I called up my bro and told him to dust off his mule deer game and cinch up for another one. After a day and a half of hunting, this is what happened. All right. You drilled him. You drilled him. I love you, big brother. I got rose bushes stuck in my feet. It's not about the rose bushes, brother. It's about the biggest mule deer buck you've ever seen in your life. Just let me look, let me look. What are you kidding me? He's awesome. Holy. Brand. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Kawaiians. Brother. That is the most beautiful mule deer buck in history. Isn't that a dandy? 
So have you guys ever seen a 95 inch typical horn? Right there, wow. right there. This deer is outrageous. His frame, turn him back to the center. His frame is absolutely enormous. That's a Boone and Crockett typical mule deer. We've never, we've filmed one in our lives. Shane Hunter got one last year in Velvet. This is the only hard horn Boone and Crockett typical we've ever gotten. He's awesome. Thank he you is very amazing. Much. Brand, I love you, bud. Thank you very much. Live to Hunt with Cody and Kelsey is brought to you by Stealth Cam, Proven, Conquest Sense, the makers of Evercom, Limb Saver, products that work, 10 Point Crossbow Technologies, there is no substitute, Black Eagle Arrows, superior carbon technology, Gwincher, and Vortex Optics. Since this show is dedicated to the King Bucks, it's only suiting that we touch on the greatest buck we have ever had the privilege of filming. A deer that I'd been filming and picking sheds up off of for a four year period and exploded into a rare creature that only exists in dreams. A double drop tine muley in the 290s. Once I found this buck in the summertime, I lived with him out of the 47 days before the season. I was there with him for 41 of those days, taking photos and filming him every chance I could. I was obsessed, and for good reason. His size and beauty was absolutely overwhelming. Every single time he was in my vortex spotter. On the first day of archery season, it was time to quit watching from the sidelines and sneak in on him for the very first time. The most intimidating stalk I will probably ever make. Every step closer, my knees got weaker. We got to 22 yards, but before I got a shot, he caught me. This was without a doubt the most empty feeling I have ever felt hunting, watching him run away. It's my fault. He was at 22 yards. As I was waiting, crouched, he turned and saw my head. As hard as it was, Life goes on, and so did the hunt. We never found him on day two, but day three we were back in the saddle not long after sunrise. We just went on every high point and every vantage we could possibly find in the country that he lives, and my brother spotted him. My pal Shaner and I snuck down a cow trail and got within 25 yards of this buck. When he stood up, we froze and waited for him to make a move. He actually fed towards us before turning and giving me a shot. He's unbelievable. In a way, I'm a little bit disappointed that he's he's not going to be out standing in the canola field or out where I can see him again because this deer gave me a rush like nothing else in my life so many times this summer. He's got 16 scoreable points on his right antler. He's got 11 on the left. I'm a pretty lucky guy to have the friends that I do and to see an animal like this. Absolutely off the charts. Velvet's incredible. Yeah, perfect. It's going to be perfect. Drop times are world class. The deer's world class. I mean, mm -hmm. we'll never see one bigger in our whole lifetimes. No. After 60 days, a three man panel of Pope and Young measurers officially taped him at 294 inches gross and 288 inches net, making him 13 inches larger than the existing world record archery mule deer. Two final score nets 288 and 08. So now I have the decision to make if I want to strip him, and I would say I'm not going to. So. That's the final score. 
he was officially 13 inches larger than the all-time world record, the Kenneth Plankbach. But for Pope and Young to make him the official world record, he needed to have his velvet stripped, and I decided not to. I chose to keep this beautiful creature exactly how he was the day I got him, and that's how I'll always remember him. The perfect deer hunt to me has got to be spotting and stalking giant muley bucks with a bow and arrow. There's so many elements that come with it. Are you going to get to the right spot? Is the wind going to stay steady for you? The anticipation that you feel when you're watching your dream buck's antlers rotate around in the foliage as you're waiting for him to stand up and hopefully give you a shot. And in that moment, having the courage to stand up and expose yourself and draw your bow, it's a rush like no other. And when you have the chance to watch your black eagle arrow soar through the sky and disappear on the mark, watch that buck run 50 yards and tip over, there's nothing else like it. Something that I have felt so privileged to have had the chance is in 2011, I shot the unofficial world record archery mule deer with a bow and arrow. He scored 294 inches non-typical. Big matching double drop tines, stickers out both sides. A deer that just takes your breath away every single time you look at him. I'm just so proud of that buck. And to me, that will always be my perfect deer hunt. The same year that I got the unofficial world record, we found some other serious giants. It's a year that I don't think I will ever top. In fact, I know we won't. In this stock, our friend Bailey McQueen knocks down another huge non-typical with the muzzleloader. Shoot him right in the center of the ribs, Bailey. Shoot. I hit him. <laughs> you got him. Jesus. You got him. <laughs> you got him. Hold on. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. You swamp monster. I feel like I'm going to. Oh, my legs are shaking. <laughs> He's huge, he's huge, he's heavy, he's old, he's huge. We just came <laughs> across the nastiest swamp and I had two pretty ladies with me that I thought 100% there was no way on earth I was gonna get them across here. <laughs> Bailey, that thing is a cranker! Look at all the points! A 21 pointer. Bailey, can you even believe this? That was cool. Congrats. Thanks very much, Cody. You're welcome, Bailey, thank you for coming. Only a week later, we found one of the most awesome bucks I have ever seen. We nicknamed him Swamp Monster, a wide frame buck with classic flyers and hooks out the side. A rare deer that broke the 240 mark. That deer is a giant. We hunted this deer for seven days, camping on him from dark till dark, until finally my great friend Randy Norrie got a shot with his muzzleloader at 130 yards. You got him. You got him. Holy oh. smokes. The swamp buck. Oh. Holy cow. That is a beauty, Randy. Oh, look at that. Look at the junk in there. How beautiful is that buck? Look at the hooks on his points. It's got hooks and... Stickers flying out everywhere. A 22 pointer. 22 points, eh? Randy, congratulations, bud. He's huge, buddy. Out of anybody in the world, you deserve a monster buck. I'm just glad to be out there with you, Code. Climbing in a blind later that fall, we had a huge typical come by at 30 yards from my pal Jeremy Skelton. A fairy tale moment that I will never forget.
Sean. Jay. Jay, is he down? He's down. Oh, Jeremy. Oh, man. Oh, Jeremy. There's a muley buck, buddy. Wow. What a thrill. Yeah, thanks a lot, Code. Jeremy, congratulations. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. Thank you. Hey, fellas. Catch any deers? Proud to introduce Catch and Deers, the brand that stands up to this phony phrasing, not by lashing out, but by embracing it for the ridiculousness that it is. Live to Hunt with Cody and Kelsey is brought to you by Stealth Cam, Proven. Diamond Archery, cutting edge innovations. Rage, leading the evolution in lethal technology. Walker's Game Ear, protect it or lose it. Cooper Firearms of Montana and Heater Bodysuit. Mossy Oak and Nomad. The quest for Kelsey to get her very first muley with a bow is one that I know no one on the team will ever forget. It's my favorite episode of Live to Hunt we have ever produced. This scene here is just one of the stocks that didn't work out. A miss at 11 yards on the heaviest buck in the country. I've honestly never been this disappointed in my life. Actually, that was a beautiful buck. And I messed that one up pretty bad. Two weeks later, we found this buck again. Yet this time, Kelsey was packing a smoke pole and the outcome was a little happier one. Got him. I would say you're a part of the Monster Blackhorn Muley Buck Club now. I would say I am. I would say I'm part of the Gnarly Buck Club too. This buck has got it all. In 2012, her archery quest continued and she was locked on to another king. Okay, let's do it. There's a reason this episode was called Four Years of Tears. Not one part of this journey came easy, and she got handed a negative outcome time after time until her emotions caught up with her. Kelsey and I have spotted the same big non-typical buck that she's been on to about four times, and he's in a wheat field. It's gonna be a really tough stock, a lot tougher than the rest. You drilled him. You drilled him, babe. You drilled him. Where to hit him? I don't know, but I think you drilled him. Kills. Kills. He just stood up and looked the other way. The one we've been waiting for for so long. Oh. Kills. Oh my gosh, there he is. There he is. Oh, see him. Honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change a thing. I learned so much over the last four years, and I think it's safe to say that I have one of the best mule deer guides in the world, and <laughs> I've learned so much hunting with Cody, and this is my very first mule deer buck with my bow. My pal, Chatty Lang, one of my childhood best friends. This show would not be complete without Chatty knocking down a beast. Boy, Chad. Chad! How far was he? He could have been like seven yards, six seven yards. Seven yards! Yeah, that was a heck of a shot. Yeah, thanks, Code. Yeah. And a, a great moment going down oh. in mule deer country. This is my archery hunt from 2012. A gorgeous buck that I successfully snuck up on in the worst conditions ever. But somehow, I got in tight. 
a moment that I will never, ever forget. I drilled him, Tone. I drilled him. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, he's gorgeous. He's got the classic hooks. Every hunter knows the feeling that I'm having right now. It's a feeling that you live for. To walk up to a mule deer buck like this, big typical frame, chocolate antlers, an absolutely gorgeous mule deer buck here in Saskatchewan. To get within 15 yards of a gorgeous mule deer buck like this and have him stand up proud and do his thing and have no idea that you're there and just watch him for that few minutes. What an absolute rush and an honor to be there. My TV show means the world to me. I am living out my wildest dreams in its entirety with no compromise. And a huge reason for that chance is because of the opportunities myself and our team have to pursue all of the gorgeous muleys that grace the prairies that I call home. And for that, I am forever grateful. To follow the Lift to Hunt team, join us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. To order Lift to Hunt DVDs and apparel, go to livetohunt.com.